so hello, uh, I'm David Sparrowy. I'm the CTO for Power Systems in the UK and Ireland, which often gets translated as Chief Talking Officer, as I do normally go to something of a pace, which we'll, we'll see how that comes out here. Uh, we've had an exciting time recently in that last week we had the announcement of the new version of IBM I. So IBM I 7.4 was announced on the 23rd. Uh, so it's now, now been announced and uh, can be available to you very shortly. Uh, we found, after all, we, we had some kind of a challenge with the kind of terminally, the cadence of how this worked in the past, in that uh, we found that uh, uh, going from 7.1 to 7.2 was a four-year gap. Uh, we've had people begin to question whether actually we were going to continue to invest in IBM I, but we absolutely are. It's key and strategic to where we're going. Then when we actually brought the next version out, 7.3, slightly faster, and we brought it out within two years, uh, then customers were complaining because we weren't actually we were building things out too quickly, so they weren't able to keep up with us. Therefore, the plan is, and we've now established that with the new version of 7.4, coming out every three years. So we've got a new one now. You can expect uh, another one in sort of three years hence after that. And again, we'll keep on rolling that kind of process as we always have two versions of IBM I beyond the current ones in development, uh, and that's kind of currently what Steve will be, what we'll be working with right now, are two other versions beyond 7.4 with new features and functions, as it's certainly a strategic uh, area that uh, remains very strong and powerful for what we're doing. One example I feel that stands testament to that is 7.4 brings out a couple of examples where they're actually working to extreme scale. So we're actually showing support of being able to do full 192 processor IBM I instances with full SMT8. Uh, we've got pretty big before, but we're all the way up to all the threads being used at that massive scale. And we don't just do that for fun. We don't actually just enable that because we can. We enable that because customers are asking for that. Uh, similarly, we have enormous numbers of of LUNs being supported. Uh, we have gone up to nearly 4,000, or indeed other instances can nearly approach 7,000 uh, different LUNs being supported on by different instances. And again, that's because we have customers actually driving that kind of scale. Uh, we have customers who use lots of scale-out systems, but we also have customers driving our enterprise boxes right up to as big as they can go for IBM instances, running core and critical businesses instances all around the world. Uh, we're going to see a, a support roadmap for IBM I, after all, that can, it's going to carry on well into the future. Uh, the kind of versions we're now working with, being able to work with 7.4, show us being able to support IBM I out into and beyond uh, the 2031 kind of time scale. Uh, the individual entities, of course, have their own sort of support uh, window, but IBM I itself can be shown to be expected to be supported to there and beyond. Uh, and so there's be a new uh, strategy paper being released fairly shortly, which will also discuss that and be able to explain further.